Governor Cuomo, I am Walter Hang. As you know, Marcellus shale gas fracturing is not permitted in New York pending adoption of a supplemental generic environmental impact statement. That proceeding is based on the fundamental assertion that existing gas and oil extraction safeguards are fully adequate to protect public health and our environment. Your Division of Mineral Resources stated, quote, as a result of New York's rigorous regulatory process, the types of problems reported to have occurred in states without such strong environmental laws and rigorous regulations haven't happened here, close quote. That statement is demonstrably false. I recently spoke with someone with extensive DEC service. I was told that DMR's enforcement problems were well known within the agency and extensively documented in its own annual reports. When I reviewed the Division of Mineral Resources' last 25 years of annual reports, I found that they reveal a shocking array of unresolved problems, notably drinking water contamination caused by massive uncontrolled gas and oil pollution hazards that were never fully investigated by DEC or local health authorities and do not meet cleanup standards. Hundreds of millions of gallons of toxic and radioactive gas and oil drilling brine have been discharged with no treatment whatsoever into lagoons that impact local streams, wetlands, and other environmentally sensitive areas. Thousands of corroded brine storage tanks that have polluted New York's environment. Most shocking of all, Division of Mineral Resources documented more than 4,700 abandoned gas, oil, and other wells that have not been plugged due to inadequate funding, even though unplugged wells can cause irreparable contamination hazards. DEC and the New York State Energy Research and Development Authority report that plugging a single well can cost between $3,000 and $50,000. As a result, the bill for dealing with New York's unplugged wells could cost between $14 million and $235 million. That vastly exceeds the roughly $200,000 recently reported in the state well plugging fund. Governor Cuomo, your DEC deliberately misled New Yorkers about our state's gas and oil extraction problems. That inescapable conclusion renders your Marcella Shale revised draft guys fundamentally invalid. It must be withdrawn now and sent back to the drawing board in order to fulfill Executive Order 41. It would be irresponsible of you to ignore DEC's documented inability to regulate gas and oil extraction hazards until all of the problems documented by your Division of Mineral Resources are fully resolved, permitting shale gas fracturing, even in a limited area, must be out of the question. Against that background, I visited the communities where existing gas and oil problems are most severe. You and all New Yorkers will be extremely disturbed by what I found. I'm Walter Hang. I'm here on Phillips Hill Road in Bolivar, New York. And would you please introduce yourselves to me? And let me note, it is Friday the 13th, 2012. I'm Faith Perkins of Bolivar, New York. And I'm Bob Perkins of Bolivar, New York. Tell me what happened to your water. Uh, my son was taking a shower in the bathroom and all of a sudden he'd come out with a towel around him and he was covered in oil and what looked like shale and that and told us it came that he got it in the bathtub and that, that it came out of the shower head. And when we went in to look at the bathtub, it was all covered in oil. And at the same time, I went out and looked in my washing machine, and there was oil coming into my washing machine with my clothes. And it was also in your sink and oh, in as, your toilet? It, oh, yes. As it turned out, yes, we checked the other toilets and the sinks, and it was the same thing. So you have some photographs, can you just hold them up? Yes, we do. So you can see it's just this horrible petroleum material, and it's a lot of it, isn't it? Oh, it was. It was by the gallons. Okay, so essentially you had this problem, the oil polluted your water, and you didn't know where the oil came from. 
No. That's true. And so then what did you do? We went to the health department first of all to see if they could help us. Well, they checked the water and said it wasn't bacteria, and that was all they did. So on September 11th, 2011, your daughter called DEC, and then there was an inspection of your property, and then they actually sampled the contamination in your home. Okay. So then DEC came and they collected a sample, not only of the contamination in your home, but they evidently also collected a sample of crude oil from a nearby extraction well, didn't they? Yes. Yes, they did. As I've shown you in the Department of Environmental Conservation's own data, they actually confirmed that the crude oil from the extraction well, the production well, actually matched the oil that was in your home. And so, did they tell you what this material was that they had analyzed? No. They we didn't. had no idea what it we was. We didn't know what it was. We didn't know it was harmful or anything. So it turns out it's, quote, unrefined raw petroleum, close quote. The crude petroleum very likely came from the well because they showed that the petroleum in the well is the same as the petroleum in your home. Possibly what happened was someone was drilling a well at that time, and if they hit a pocket of pressurized uh, oil and gas, it could have literally shot up under, out of the ground under tremendous pressure, and if there were naturally occurring cracks, they could have followed the cracks and that's how the oil could have gotten in your well. And that's how it could have come blasting out of the shower head when your son was taking uh, a shower. And that's how he literally got covered with this petroleum and also uh, with these little bits of, of mineral material. So you have four isopropyl toluene at 1300 parts per billion. 135 trimethyl benzene at 3300 parts per billion and n butyl benzene at 1600 parts per billion. These are all toxic. These vastly exceed uh, the maximum contaminant levels that are allowed in drinking water. But the truly shocking thing that you learned today was that the analytical results uh, showed crude oil at 12,971,000 parts per billion. That is just a shocking amount of oil. Now the Department of Health um, was very concerned about this and as a result of the identified contamination, DEC said that you might be eligible for an alternate source of water but they never gave you either a, a granular activated carbon filter or, or gave you public water or anything like that? No, not no. at all. No. And you had continued to wash uh, and to uh, bathe um, in the water and to wash your clothes with this water. Uh, they never told you don't do that. They no. never cautioned no. you. No, no we, they didn't tell us not to do it. They didn't caution us. And, and so who has been bathing in this water? I understand you're not drinking the water, correct? You we don't drink um, it. We don't cook with it. But I've washed dishes. I've washed my laundry. We've taken showers. And the worst part is our little grandchildren, we've started to... Five years old. Yeah, we've started to let them take baths, which they'll sit and play for maybe a half hour and that in it. And I started to hook up their pool this summer and sprinkle them. Now, as early as January, you had indicated that your water smells and is black. And you basically complained to the DEC uh, and wanted to know that if you brought a gallon of water to their office, would anyone drink it? 
Isn't that correct? Yes. Okay. Nobody really gave me an answer, but so I thought, well, must be it's okay. okay. Nobody said, yes, we will, or no way. You know, they just didn't say anything. And were you surprised to learn today that your spill, uh, which was reported again on 9-11-2011, doesn't meet the applicable standards and it's administratively active? Yes, we're surprised. Yes. So, on a final note, Governor Cuomo says that New York has never had problems with oil and gas drilling and that it can be done safely and that he's promised to protect public water. Mm -hmm. Do you have any response to that? Well, in our case, it's not true. I mean, it's obvious to us that our water, we didn't put the oil there. Much of the brine has actually been discharged into small lagoons and holding ponds and the contamination can subsequently discharge into wetlands, streams, and cause extensive ground contamination. For example, on May 27, 2011 in Allentown, New York, a spill was reported involving a company reportedly, quote, dumping material from oil tank overflow pit over a bank into a creek where beavers have a dam, close quote. So reportedly the operator, quote, opened valve and let it run, close quote. The contamination ran down a gully into a wetland uh, and basically this wetland drains into a stream which leads to the Genesee River. This site uh, still remains contaminated. It exceeds the applicable standards. It is administratively active and the contamination involves extensive uh, waste oil. This facility involves a lagoon where produced water is discharged. There's widespread evidence of petroleum contamination and the contamination essentially discharges continuously out a pipe onto a hillside and the pollution has denuded this hillside of vegetation you can see that the contamination runs down a drainage ditch into a culvert and then discharges into a small stream. This problem has existed since at least 2008 reportedly. Uh, my name is Randy Harms. I live at 4234 Davis Hill Road in Sile, New York. Okay. And it's my understanding that on December 13th, 2010, you reported that you had crude oil in your drinking water well. Is that correct? Basically, we lost water uh, and got quite a large amount of crude in the well and it plugged up my pump and ruin the submersible pump. I took it upon myself in the beginning to pull the well and replace the pump so I could get water back. And then a individual from 
the DEC came and talked to me on the well. So when I got the phone call, to the best of my re uh, recollection, they wanted to know if I had water again, and I said yes, and it was pretty much, okay, goodbye. <laughs> and they never told you that your water was actually uh, probably toxic? Uh, no, sir. And they never mentioned that your water didn't meet the standards? No. And what did this crude oil in your water look like? A uh, brownish color, um, kind of a slimy, milky content. And did it smell in any way? Yes, it smelled like kerosene. I mean, did you expect that if there was a problem that exceeded applicable standards, they would have alerted you, or they would have helped you, or they would have done something about figuring out how this problem developed, you know, and how it could be solved? Ah, uh, yes, I would have hoped so. You thought that maybe there were some wells nearby where some action was taken that might have been related? Uh, yes. I'm, I'm not a coincidence person, but I know in two months prior the wells had been shut down. And they were how far away from your well? Uh, approximately a quarter of a mile. And how deep were those um, extraction wells, do you know? Uh, according to the neighbor, they're about 800 feet. And were they oil wells or gas wells or both? Oil. I see. And finally, you basically never got um, a new source of water. You never got a comprehensive filtration system. Um, have you continued to have problems that are noticeable? Um, bad smell. Um, it varies a lot, mostly in the time of year. It gets very strong in the house, uh, the, the odor. It's a kerosene type odor. A lot of residue in the water. Uh, I'm flushing my water tanks approximately once every month, every other month, just so they don't get ruined. So this is your well without the cap on. You can see the residue on the outside of the casing. And can you smell petroleum? Oh, yes. I think it's really noticeable, isn't it? Yes. So is there any time when you really notice the smell? Uh, mostly now, if we're gone for a couple days, we come back, it's very noticeable, and if you're gone and then you put a load of wash in, it is, it's really bad. It smells really bad. The scenario from a statewide perspective, as you may know, is that Governor Cuomo has essentially told New York State residents that New York DEC, Department of Environmental Conservation, has never had major extraction well problems. Uh, do you believe that? Mm, no. <laughs> and, and the governor has said that New Yorkers are going to be protected from oil and gas extraction activities if Marcellus Shale fracking is allowed to go forward. Do you have any sense of that? I don't know how it could be, you know, I don't know that much about the fracking itself, but with the wells that we have, you know, start with. I can't imagine it making it any better.